Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on today's video. So I have already filmed this but I have a new camera and turns out my new camera films in slow motion. I might put a little clip in just to show you what I originally filmed. So yeah it's not great. Obviously I can't really use this so I've had a wee sit down I've regained some strength and we're gonna start again. We're just gonna get on with it. We're gonna stop blabbing and we're gonna get on with it. So the first thing I'm gonna show you was actually what I was most excited about. So I'm happy to now show you it as my first item. So I picked up this lovely trench coat. Now, I, it feels such good heavy quality and I quite like the brown kind of mocha colour so it's really heavy good quality got pockets got the the belt around the waist I don't know how else to describe this because obviously it is it it's a trench coat there's no other way to describe it apart from the fact that it's in this beautiful beautiful mocha brown colour so it was an expensive buy but you can feel the quality it is double lined on the inside so it's got the lining and I just I picked this up on a size medium because I didn't want it to be too tight I do like my things a bit baggy so I've not tried any of this stuff on so you will see it in the try on clip but for height reference I'm five foot three and I'm normally around a size 10 I do fluctuate depending on the brand as does everyone so the sizes will be down below if I don't say while I'm talking to you guys. So that was the trench coat. Absolutely love it. Cannot wait to style it like spring staple. So next up, another favourite of mine, another jacket, Regile. So I picked up, this is the oversized puffer Regile in a creamy beige colour. Now I have tried this on. It was the first thing I tried on when I got the box. I ripped it out of the bag. Couldn't was ugh, so excited. I was so excited about this one. And then I put my hands in the pockets. And let me tell you, it was a delight. Fleece lining, are you joking? I was so excited about the fleece lining. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this this gilet was it's nice. It fits well but I'll possibly return it to oh my god the pockets are fleece lined I shall be keeping like that's how quickly my opinion changed so I did pick this up in a size small because it is oversized now it is a bit snug when I zip it up with hoodies underneath but the point is it does zip up so but I just think for like the transitional periods this is great I quite like stuff I I feel like people used to say like what do you do with a gilet? Like how do you style a gilet? And I quite like it. See if I'm doing errands. Errand run, shopping run. You know that awkward temperature where it's freezing cold outside but it's too hot for a big jacket in the shop. A gilet is your friend because you're getting the warmth and if you're jumping into a car it's you've got movement of all the arms. I don't know what I'm trying to say but Okay, next up I picked up a blazer. Now I did get matching trousers for this so I will show you that next. But this blazer feels incredible. I don't expect, like, and from what I've heard, did I say this is a monkey haul? I don't know, is it monkey or monkey? Like what sounds better when I say it? I don't know, but I don't know if I said that but I'm sure you'll get that by the title. Sorry. So. I expect nothing less from Monkey from what I've heard, their quality is amazing, um, which I kind of gathered by the price of some stuff. So I picked up, this was I think an oversized blazer so I have picked it up in a size medium and it does have a little bit of padding in the shoulders there so it'll give you that structured, that structured, it will give you a structured shoulder. And to my delight, I can confirm that this has brio pockets which is obviously a bonus and then it's got these like black almost black marble black marble buttons two buttons down the front I don't think I've ever fastened up my blazer to be honest but if I wanted to like if I want a suit moment 
with nothing underneath. That would be... Oh, I just love it. Oh, I kind of like this as well. This is on the sleeves. I love this. And I, as I say, amazing quality. So as I said, I picked up the black trousers to match the blazer. So these are the trousers here. Obviously, it's really hard to show black things on camera, so I will probably... Um, you can see more in the photos and you can check the website as well. But it's got belt loops around it, just one button and a zip. This also has pockets. It's got pockets in the front. And I don't know if it's got fake pockets in the back. Okay, it's fake pockets in the back. But we'll just, we'll enjoy the front pockets. Um, and then obviously just wide leg all the way down to the bottom. Now I'm five foot three, so I will most likely have to alter these. But I found this really good um, no sew adjustment. Um, it's on Amazon. It's like almost like a, a webbing. And you just iron over it. And I used that the other day for one of my another pair of trousers and it worked amazing so I'm no longer scared to buy trousers that are too long for me knowing that I can quickly adjust them. So not much I can say about these really. I picked these up in a size 40 so I've got another pair of jeans with me. Now I was trying to figure out the sizing based off of what they say so a size 40 in the trousers looks to be a UK 12 if that helps anyone with sizing. I do normally like to go a bit bigger in my trousers because trousers like this I will be wearing for work when I sit down in an office for most of the day. I think I mentioned that I bought a pair of jeans. So I picked up the high waist straight leg jean with a 31 waist. So again I tried to just figure it out based on their sizing information what I think would fit me. So I think these will actually fit me almost perfectly. If not a bit snug I'm not gonna lie. So they're in this really nice wash of denim. It's kind of a light wash, but not... It's my favourite kind of denim wash. Like, I just think this denim you can wear all year round, really. And I've bought a lot of tops in this haul, so you'll probably be seeing a lot of these jeans throughout the haul, as long as they fit me. If not, you'll be seeing the black trousers a lot. But they just, they look a really nice denim. I kind of like the pocket. So this is the, obviously, this is the pocket, and then look. And that's quite cool actually that the inside of the denim is still the dark denim that it obviously was originally. So next we're going to talk about tops. I picked up this knitted jumper. So it's this high neck knitted jumper here. I actually loved the detailing on the front. Obviously it's um, got rib detail one way or knitted detail one way and then at the bottom it's vertical and it's horizontal. Yeah, so I quite like the high neck it's got here. Like it's not too, I don't think this will irritate me too much. I'm actually surprised at myself because I've picked this up in a size small and normally jumpers I go massive in. So I'm interested to see how this fits me. And I quite like they've got nice balloon sleeves as well. As you can see, I picked it up in this really nice green color. I don't have anything this color. I just thought it was a bit different. But maybe, I think it's maybe a bit too dark, like we're we're getting into the spring, summer seasons are upon us, this would maybe be better for Christmas. However, if you don't like this colour and you like this design, they had so many colours in this jumper. And I originally envisioned it, right? So this jumper with the blazer and the trousers, some trainers, because I'm all about the casual life, and then some sunglasses with my hair a bit like this. Is that not a vibe? That's a vibe. So I also picked up a couple of like, I call basics. Staples for your wardrobe. So the first I picked up is they had fitted t-shirts. Now if you've been here before, you know that my, I have very sensitive hands to, to especially clothing materials. This feels, this top is a fitted top here. It feels really buttery soft and it feels like when it stretches, it's not going to affect me. I will, I, it's hard to tell because I can't, I'm unsure about this material. But I picked up this one which has like the longer sleeve, like so it'll hit me about here. They do have a shorter sleeve one but I don't know, I just fancy them different. I did pick this up in a size small and I don't know if my, how well my arm's going to, I've already got goosebumps just thinking about the material. So I'm not too sure how this is going to go for me. Maybe I should have got a size medium, but 
I like to say these things because I don't think I got my head over it. Oh no, it's very stretchy. Um, so I'll try it on and if it is bothering my skin, I will let you know because I feel like it's important for anyone who has similar issues. But if this is good, then this is a very nice staple and obviously we know what she looks like and she's a lot cheaper than said brand. Next up, I don't know how I'm going to try these on with great difficulty, but I am going to try and try it on because I picked up a multi-pack of the tank tops. So you've got a black and a white one. I feel like, again, absolute staples. The white one doesn't seem too see-through. Like, it seems okay. They're not double lined, so I think you'd still have to maybe wear, if you want to, of course, um, some kind of protection. And then I'm going to try the black one on because the black one's at the front. So I'm going to try the black one on just so you can see how it fits. And I picked these up in the medium because I didn't want these to be too tight on me. So I don't know why I picked the other one up in the small. Now the next top I'm going to show you, I actually bought this top in a green. There has been a slight error in delivery. Which is a shame because I actually, I've got a green handbag that would have really matched the green top. I'll put a photo of the green top here and I have linked the green one below. Um, and I've got a green handbag that would have matched that quite nicely, but it's okay. So I'll still talk about this one though. So this is in a ribbed material, I don't know if you can see. So quite a, quite a stretchy ribbed material. And it's got a nice scoop neck, so it'll be quite flattering on the neckline. And I picked this up in a size small. I believe the green one I ordered was also a size small. It seems quite a nice good quality. And I just kind of thought this like tucked into jeans, tucked into trousers, just as a good layering piece really. Um, I quite like long sleeve items at the moment just to give myself thin layering. I'm sad about the colour mix up but at least I got the right product so I can still talk about it. So the last few things are not very colourful at all I'll be honest. So I picked up this black cropped blouse. I just kind of thought jeans and a nice top inspired. This was jeans and a nice top inspired. Um, I picked this up in a size medium because the material didn't look that stretchy but it actually does have a bit of stretch to it so we'll see how it fits. I think this is still going to fit me perfectly because it doesn't have too much stretch so if you're in between sizes I would maybe go on the above size just because I wanted this to fit me perfectly. But then it might not fit the bust, so who knows? Again, you will be able to see in the try and clip. And then it's obviously ruched at the wrists. I do apologise, I do normally try and do my try on clips beforehand, but unfortunately, just the way that everything is working out with my personal life, this is how we have to do it. It is quite a nice wee fabric. I'm excited to try this on. I really just kind of thought, like, this is a good top to wear when you have nothing to wear, if that makes sense. So next up was very much holiday inspired. I had my summer holiday in mind, but I also feel like I could get away with trying to wear this in the office. So it is this crochet crop top slash jumper. It's got the nice flowy arms. So as I say, I originally thought like for holiday with a black bikini underneath it and some shorts, um, maybe for the evening. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I got such a fright. Okay. This feels really good quality. I wanted one of these for when I went to Morocco and I couldn't find any at all. Don't know where I looked. I do also, I feel like this was on sale when I looked at it the other day. So if it's on sale, I do highly recommend for your holidays. And yeah, I'm just excited to wear this in summer. I'm excited to try and make work for a non-summer holiday as well. Okay, so we're on our last thing but the last thing is a two part so I picked up this long sleeve back block so I picked up this black almost see through top like I you can't really tell can you see there yeah a little bit see through picked this up on size medium and to go underneath it I just picked up this little black bralette got it in size small I don't know I think it might be okay um I don't know what to say about the black bralette it's just a really black just a 
black triangle stretchy bralette. They actually have a three for two on the bralettes as well. So if you like the bralette and you want them in different colours, kind of gives me... My waist is not this small. My ribs are not this small. This may not fit me very well. I possibly should have got a medium. But that's why we do these things, to find out. So this is just to go under that top, so we don't need to talk about that too much. But this top, I'm not the biggest fan of the feeling. Kind of freaking me out. But it's that kind of top that I think when it's on, I could possibly like be okay with it. It's just getting on and off that would be my problem. But the sacrifices we have to make for fashion. This with cargo trousers. I feel like that's an outfit. Right there. I feel like that's an outfit. So I am looking forward to trying this on and styling it because it's not my usual. I wouldn't normally go for this. But we'll see. So that was everything for my monkey, monkey haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed and there's links down below to my Instagram, TikTok and Pinterest if you are interested in how I style these. So check that out, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.